Hey, welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a great ride. You know, one of the disadvantages of wearing prescription glasses are there are a limited amount of shades that can accommodate prescription inserts. The ones currently available are limited in style, and the popular shades the pros use are too expensive to get custom lenses. I've tried a few of them such as this one, but the problem with this insert is it sits close to my face such that once I start to perspire, the sweat wicks through my brows and my eyelashes, and then it smudges into the lens. I mean, I even adjusted the nose piece to move the glasses a bit further away from my face, but that really didn't help much. After casually browsing through AliExpress a few years ago, one of the things that I found was this helmet that has a built-in visor that allows me to wear my glasses. Hey, for $30 plus shipping, I was willing to give it a try. The one cool thing about this helmet is the visor is attached using magnets. It even comes with three different colored visors. One that's mirrored, that's great for bright sunny days. One that is a lighter shade and is polarized. And a yellow one for cloudy, overcast, or nighttime riding. Now one other feature I like about this helmet is I can flip the visor upside down when I don't need it. Such as when I'm fixing a flat or I'm at a rest stop in a coffee shop. Now the only thing I don't like about this helmet is it's not very well ventilated and it's kind of hot in the summertime. When climbing long hills, I like to flip up the visor to get more airflow to my face. But then it partially blocks the front vents so the top of my head gets hot. But besides that, I really like the feature of the full visor, even if you think I might look like a dork. There were other better ventilated helmets on AliExpress that I could have chosen, but I settled on this one. Now, I also have Giro and Bell helmets, and I thought, you know what, it would be cool to use these same visors on these helmets. So in this video, I'll show you how I was able to install magnetic mounts on my other helmets so that I could use these same visors at the same time have better ventilation. But first, the disclaimer. Any modifications you do to your helmet will likely void the warranty and may compromise the safety features of the helmet and therefore may cause harm to you. If you choose to do these modifications to your helmet, you are doing it solely at your own risk and I am not responsible for any potential harm that may come to you. So, with that said, let's get started. Method 1 is quick and easy, but it is temporary and not very clean looking. But it does work if you just want to try it out. First take your visor and see where it best fit on your helmet. On this Giro Atmos helmet, the center magnet fits nicely on the front lip of the helmet. This will be our first hot glue attachment and will establish the center line of the visor. You'll need some magnets like these. These neodymium magnets are extremely strong and work well in this application. I bought these at my local Home Depot, but they're also available at your local hobby and craft store. Go ahead and attach the three magnets to the visor and leave them there. This ensures you have a proper polarity of the helmet mounted magnets. Apply a dab of hot glue on the magnet and on the helmet. Quickly attach the visor and hold it in place until the glue cools down.
Once the glue has cooled down, gently slide off the visor. Don't pull it straight out as the glue might pop off. Now go ahead and add more hot glue around the base and sides of the magnet so you have a secure fitting. Once the glue has cooled, attach the visor and now glue the end magnets. Double check the alignment of the visor to make sure the mounting position is level with the helmet. Apply enough hot glue to hold the magnets in place and let them cool down. Finally, slide off the visor and build up the glue around the base and magnet sides just like you did on the center magnet. As you see here, this method is quick and easy. It's a bit messy with the hot glue, but it works. Reason I mentioned this is temporary is because on a hot summer day, the wax can get soft enough that the glue joints could detach from the helmet. This happened to me last summer. Luckily, the other two stayed in place. A more permanent solution is to use epoxy putty, which you can mold around the magnet to better fit the contour of your helmet. Method 2 uses a tab in which the magnet is glued onto. This is then inserted into the foam. It can be metal or a sturdy piece of plastic. See what items you have lying around that might work. I had leftover sawtooth hangers for picture frames and that's what I used. I cut the hanger in half and epoxied the magnets to the end. Next, using a hobby knife, I created three incisions into the foam and inserted the tabs. Once I was satisfied with the alignment, I epoxied them in place. As you see, this gives a cleaner look and a more integrated transition between the visor's top edge and the helmet. As you can see, I do use a helmet mirror and because of it, the visor doesn't sit squarely when mounted upside down but it still stays in place when I use it that way. I prefer this method over the hot glue because it is a cleaner look. And there you have it. With this hack, I am able to use the visors on my other helmets that have better ventilation. If you made it this far and was inspired by this video, I thank you for watching and give it a thumbs up to acknowledge the time I spent making this video for you. Subscribe if you feel like it. And as I say, let's be nice to each other, especially to the newer cyclists. Be a cycling ambassador and not a snob. Acknowledge, smile, and wave at every person or cyclist you pass. And let us pray for world peace. Thanks for watching.